It's from sometime between 1050 and 800 BC, which was a period of fierce expansion by the Assyrians. Oddly, for those years, only one king shows up on the historical record. Please continue. While most likely he wiped all evidence of his predecessor's existence or passed the name to his heirs, one monarch, Messarach, the one-eyed king, is given credit for the territory and achievements of this time. But he would have had to have been over 250 years old, like uh, Dracula or something. So? I find it hard to believe a sarcophagus with a person as important as Maserat could remain in, oh, what is the word, pristine or intact condition for so many years. But this is who is believed to be contained within. Are you sure? Men educated, guess. Maybe you have not heard. It was stolen from the museum before we had a chance to open it. Usually, we use equipment to carbon date, x-ray, and take air samples before we pry open the lid. You compared him to a vampire. Any reason? You know, it is interesting that you ask me that. The goddess on the outside of the sarcophagus was Lamastu. In the Syrian myth, Lamastu was an evil demoness who preyed on humans. Many people cite her as the mother of vampire myth, and... Spare me all that bullshit. How do I open the sarcophagus? Ah, quite interesting. There is a surprisingly complex mechanical lock on the face of the sarcophagus. By sheer luck, we were able to find the key not far from the sarcophagus. Why no one ever found it and robbed it? It's perplexing. A key, of course. Do you have it? How strange, you would ask. I haven't seen the key since it was loaded onto the Elizabeth Dane in Turkey. It was stolen before the sarcophagus even. I am still hopeful that the police find both pieces before the contents can be disturbed. Do you have a copy of that key? No, it's not the kind of key you can copy at the hardware store. It's actually very sophisticated. And I meant to study it at the museum. I've answered all your questions. Do you think now you could please get me out of here? I don't care who you are or why you've had so many questions about the sarcophagus. I just want to leave this place. Alright, I untie you. There's a boat nearby. We can escape on it. Thank you, my friend. No, we I will... don't know where you came from. I will never forget this kindness. Your face looks weird. Okay, when we will go, go uh, through this door, the, a bomb will go on and then let's pray that my computer will stay on. You crawl all this way to press the button. That you had in your hands. Don't fail, don't fail, don't fail, don't fail. Keep it on, keep it on, keep on, be on, be on. Stay on. Don't fail through the loading screen, don't fail. Not go whoop! What did I ask you? Do not go whoop! Do not explode! And I will kind of like to keep my save, so do not explode, die or delete itself. Delete itself, so please just stay, stay the way you are. I should have looted that room that the professor was in. I don't remember if there was anything useful in there. Yay! We made it! The professor made it too? Oh, who cares? We made it! And now we actually stop people after this loading screen and after I save, so just to make sure that everything is alright. 
Oh, talking with that professor they took time, but it was worth it. It was worth it to come back and stay and talk nonsense with you. It was like fun. That's why I'm doing this. I wouldn't do this if this would be not fun. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>